Hey, this is Clayton Wood from Growth Labs Academy in San Francisco, California. Uh, Social Quant audience, I'm here today to tell you about a sister tool and a wonderful SEO couple of hacks that uh, SEM Rush has for you. So if you don't know SEM Rush, I'm a brand ambassador for them and have been using them for probably about 10 years. So we're going to talk today about the top five things that you should do as soon as you sign up for SEM Rush. And here they are. After hundreds of projects, these are the most important hacks that you can do immediately when you get SEM Rush. Number one, get familiar with their organic ranking dashboard. So I've got Social Quant popped into the dashboard here, and you can see they give a lot of statistics. Don't let that stuff fool you. This is the domain overview of everything. One point of very much interest is right down here where it says top organic keywords. You can click on full report here, and it will actually show you all the keywords that you're ranked for, what their search volume is, what URL uh, you rank for, and a bunch of other deep dive into, into this information. You can export it, you can do a bunch of stuff like look at the trends over a period of months. That's number one. So get familiar with the uh, keyword ranking data. Number two is check out your backlinks. Over here on the left hand side, you're able to click directly to your backlinks. So take a look at your portfolio. One of the most important things with SEO is that you've got a clean, healthy, diverse portfolio, meaning there's a lot of different anchor texts, there's a lot of different places that the links are coming from. SEM Rush Backlinks tool will tell you everything you need to know about your portfolio. You can see all of that here in the overview, and you can also drill down into the actual backlinks, which is a great way to export the list, compare it to uh, other people in your space. In fact, that brings up point number three. Number three is start stealing backlinks from your competitors. I know, sounds a little weird, but it's not unethical. Think about it. If somebody's ranked number one for a particular keyword, they've probably done that through great content on the website and great content off of the website, meaning good backlinks. Pop his domain into SEM Rush and go ahead and export the uh, list. And then on a Google Docs spreadsheet, you can compare which backlinks you have versus which backlinks he has. Cool thing about SEM Rush is that it gives actually a score um, for all of these backlinks, and you'll be able to see which ones he's got that are top quality. Anything that's top quality, go ahead and click through to that backlink, and you can start to see if it's a, a publication or a list or a resource that you could reach out to and possibly get a backlink from. That's how you steal backlinks from your competition. The next thing is start a project inside of SEM Rush. They've just come out with this beautiful new feature that uh, allows you to start a project and connect a lot of different components of your digital marketing uh, into the SEM Rush dashboard. Here's what it looks like. I've got a couple of different projects here, but let's focus on the real thread uh, project here. It shows how many links are toxic, how many links that have been checked. It's got 68% uh, of a health score on the site audit. It tracks a set of keywords based on the pages they're ranking for and tells you if they're going to go up and go down. It's also got SEO ideas, which is phenomenal. Uh, you can connect it to social media, and this is where it integrates with tools like Social Quant. And then it's got organic traffic, PPC, brand monitoring, everything you need to monitor and to uh, resource new ideas from is inside of this project module. So at the top left-hand side, when you sign up for SEM Rush, just go ahead and click projects and put your website in for a project. And the last but certainly not least super cool thing that you should do as soon as you sign up for SEM Rush is do a domain versus domain comparison. Now, what you can do is put your domain versus your competitors and uh, you can add a couple of different competitors to take a look at all of these different um, aspects and metrics. You can look at the different organic research, backlinks, display, video, um, and then you can look at all of these aspects in terms of difficulty and what your website does compared to your competition. Uh, you can also use all of the project features and compare domain versus domain. So if you ever wanted to know why your competition is doing well in SEO, this is where you can find out. If you need additional help, 
You can contact me at Clayton at growthlabsacademy.com and I'll talk to you soon.